how to connect to FTP on Windows. The acronym FTP may sound new, but it is a well-established transfer protocol. Webmasters use FTP software to upload files from their computer to a web server. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can connect your computer to your hosting account with FTP. Why is this important for you? Using FTP will help you transfer files on the hosting account, edit files, and do any necessary updates if you get errors. If you want to run a WordPress site, this is something you need to know. I will show you, step by step, how you can connect from a Windows PC to an FTP. It does not matter where you have your hosting or what software manager you use as long as they support FTP. To connect to FTP, you will need the following data. FTP server name. This could be your domain name here or the name of the hosting server where your account resides or the IP of the server. You can get the FTP server name from your hosting. FTP username. Usually, the FTP password can also be the cPanel account or another username received when you create your hosting account. FTP password. Your FTP password, this can be similar to the hosting password or different. Port. The default FTP port is 21. The data should look something like I have here. Check the first email that you received from your hosting account. Usually, these data are there. You can also check the hosting account to get this data or simply ask the hosting provider. Without this data, you cannot connect to FTP. So, before going to the other steps, please ensure you have the hostname, account, and password. To connect to an FTP server, you will need software. I recommend using one of the best FTP software on Windows. This software is free and it is very popular on Windows. It is called WinSCP. So, let's download and install this software. First, open your current browser. You can use any browser you like. I will use, for this demo, the Edge browser from Microsoft. Now, right on the address bar, google.com. On the search input, write WINSCP. The first site will be the official site of the app. Click on that. On the site of the app, click on the button called Download WinSCP and the version number. It does not matter what version you see here, it might be different from what you see in this video. The software will start to download. It is possible to ask where you want to save the file or get other warnings depending on your browser. After you downloaded the file, open the file. If you cannot open the file directly on the browser, go to your downloads folder and click on the file. Here, you can install for all users or only for yourself. Select what you want. Click Yes here. Click Accept. Click Next. Click again Next. Click Install. Now the software is installing. Click Finish. Now the app has been installed. We need only to configure the connection. We need to select the File Protocol option FTP. On the host name, we can add FTP server name. This could be your domain name here, or the name of the hosting server where your account resides, or the IP of the server. On port, we will leave 21. If you do not get any information about having a different port, it also means this is also on your hosting. Now, write your username and password. Before we log in, we want to save this connection. This will help us connect faster to WordPress. Click on Save. On this menu, click Save. Now, you can modify the site name and folder. The folder will allow you to categorize your connections. An important checkbox is Save Password. If you only use the computer or only trusted persons, then I recommend checking this. If you do not use this, you will need to enter the password every time, and I do not like that. 
Now click OK. To log in to the site, you just select from the right the connection and click on Log In. You have now connected to the server. On the left side, you have files from your computer, and on the right, you have the files from the server. Usually, the site is in the public underscore HTML folder. To copy a file and upload it to the server, you just need to go on the left side where it is located. Select the file and drag and drop on the right part. Also, you can use the Upload folder from the top. You see, now the file has been transferred. If you right-click on a file from the server, you will be able to edit, move, duplicate, delete it, or download it to the computer. So, this will allow you to do anything with the files. So, this is how you connect with FTP on your hosting account to manage your WordPress files. If this was useful, please like, share, and subscribe. You can watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.